Hey, in this video series, we're going to talk about conventions and understanding how to make software and the components that you're going to need to think about as you develop software. When we talk about constants, some values stay the same throughout the whole program's execution. These are what's known as a constant. Say we have a temperature conversion program, the highest possible temperature might always be the same. So we use constants to represent such an unchanging value. You, can, you should come up with a naming convention for your constants. You could use something like all capital letters with underscores to make them stand out in the code. When we talk about local variable names, we want to transition to local variables by highlighting not all of the information in a program remains the same. Sometimes we need temporary storage for values that are only relevant for a specific part of the code, like a function. So if you're calculating the average temperature in a function, you might need a variable to store the current temperature within that function. And local variables are named in a way that's easy to understand and limited scope with where they exist. With your global variables, there's situations where you want a piece of data to be accessible from anywhere in the program. For instance, if you're tracking the highest temperature recorded throughout your entire program, you'd use a global variable. Global variables have distinct naming conventions to make clear that they have a global scope. Functions names are blocks of code that are designed to perform a specific task. They organize and structure your code. And for example, if you wanted to convert temperature between Fahrenheit and Celsius, you might have to create a function for that purpose. Functions should have clear and descriptive names, often in the form of an action using an active voice. Object names. Objects are a way to bundle data and functionality together. In our temperature recording program, we might have to have an object represent a temperature recorder, which can store data and perform related actions. Objects have a naming convention that indicates they're an instance of a class. So think about that in your namings. When we talk about classes, those are like blueprints to create more objects. You could create a class to define their common attributes and their methods. Classes have very specific naming conventions to distinguish them from functions and variables. And lastly, we have modules as a way to organize and structure your code on a broader level. If you have various functions and classes and constants related to temperature in different parts of your program, you might need to organize them into a temperature-related module. Modules have consistent naming conventions to make it clear what part of the program they represent. Hope you found this useful. We'll see you again.